Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Dawn. This is Wreath Decor by Dawn. Susan and I, Susan from AC Inspired Wreaths, and I have been doing our 12 days of lives, day 12 days of Christmas lives. And today is day six. So I hope you guys have been enjoying it. I hope you guys are having fun and learning something and liking the designs that we're doing for you. We have a lot planned for this week. Um, we're going until Sunday. So I hope you all will come back and join us. Um, Susan will be on again tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern. So um, tonight I am going to do a, another swag for you. I promise this is the last one I'm going to be doing. I know I've done two other ones already. But this is three ways that I've, I'll be, have shown you how to do um, a swag. So the first one we did was for a table. Um, the last one we did was for the door. And this one will be for the door too, but this one's going to be a little bit more fun. Um, the one I did on um, yesterday was a little more of an elegant type um, door hanger. All right, so, so like I said, I'm going to do another swag for you. This will be the last one I do, I promise. Um, but like I said, the first one I did was a table swag, and it was made off of this type of frame. This is just a regular swag. This is a 24-inch swag. Well, by the time you get done, it's going to be about 32 inches, but it's a 24. Um, and they measure from the tip of the spine, uh, from each tip of the spine. They don't measure the, the, the greenery here um, as the size. So this is technically a 24-inch, but when we're done, it's going to be a 32-inch. All right, so that's what we're doing there. We're going to use this black and white mesh. Um, I've cut these at 20 inches. We're going to ruffle these up and put those in. I've got 12 pieces of those. So we're going to use this little guy here today. He comes with his head. He's got his hound's tooth, scarf, and uh, ribbon going around there. So we're going to use him. He's got his little feet and his little red mittens, written mitten hands. We're going to use those as well. So we're going to use all of them. So I want to put him on first, and then we're going to build around it. All right, these um, attachments, if you've never bought one or used one, come with uh, wires in them. Most of the wires are okay to use. Some of them are a little thick. If I were doing a wreath, um, I would take the wires that come on these off, and I would put my own wire on using my floral wire. It's just easier for me to manage. But these on here are thinner, and they are easily um, bendable, whereas the thicker ones, I don't know, he doesn't, these aren't really, these ones are all pretty thin. Usually some of them will come with thicker wires holding the legs and the hands, um, and those can be kind of a pain to get around your frame. So with this, let me move this back, I don't need this up close anymore. Okay, Welcome so if you were putting this on a wreath, you would need these over here on the side to help secure this. Because we're using a swag, I don't need these side ones. I need the top one, and then I need to put one in the center here. Because we only have that one spine um, to, to attach everything to. So we're going to get our floral wire out, because that's what I'm going to use to get another wire on there. I could just poke one of those other ones back through it, but I, I don't want to leave that big of a hole, so we're just going to use this. Hey, Lori! So I'm using a 26 gauge floral wire. Alright, so his um, scarf is sewn on. Um, I want to go right where that seam is. I'm going to go into his head. If I can get through it. Pretty thick material. There we go. And then I'm going to come out his scarf. And this um, needle is one of those yarn needles. It's just a metal one. I like using a metal one to put this thing, this stuff through because the plastic ones um, will leave a bigger hole. All right, so that's all I did was put this silver wire, and you can't even see it because it's silver wire, through the back of his head. So I want to put him on first. And I'm going to look for the tip of the spine right here. And that's where I'm going to attach his wire for the top. And I want to make sure I go around that metal spine because that's the only metal we have to attach stuff to. You don't want to attach it to the branches because there's a chance it might come off. Well, hello, Pamela, first time watcher. Thank you so much for joining us. 
No problem, Susan. Susan is helping out with uh, questions and moderating for me tonight. She'll be sharing some of my links for you. All right, so I'm going to cut this off. I just twisted it a couple of times. I'm going to cut it off, and then I'm going to fold down that wire because I don't want anybody getting poked by it. So I'm going to twist it. And then I'm going to pinch it down. So for this, I'm not even making a bow. But he is going to have something in his hands. Um, I went today and I, I wanted, I was going to try and find a great big huge ornament for him to hold. But I couldn't find one that I wanted. Everything was just the wrong color. So I ended up buying some snowflakes from Hobby Lobby that I should have opened the box first because I didn't. And it turns out they're felt, and they're very cheap looking, and very, um, they're just cheaply made. They're very thin. They're almost like paper. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that so much. Invite your friends to watch. If you guys share this live to your page, you can always go back and rewatch it later. It'll be on your page. And your friends will see it. Maybe they will come and join us. So I hope you guys are, are liking all of the lives that we're doing and everything we've been making. We've been working really hard to try and do some different things for you than what we normally do on our lives. Alright, so there he is. Alright, let's put his legs in next. Alright, so let me hold that up so you can see him. And I can move these over if you guys can't see. Well, they don't want to stay. They're just going to roll. So, All right, and what I'll do when I'm done, because he keeps picking up everything that's on my desk here, I will take a lint roller and I will go over his legs and his hat and his uh, everything just to make sure that he's nice and clean. So I'm going to straighten out these wires. Now, this snowman attachment I bought from... Um, the wreath shop and I think I bought it during the summer when they were um, clearancing out some of their uh, Christmas stuff all right my glue gun went off Doggone it. I was gonna hit this with a spot of glue if you don't um, put a little bit of glue on the end of it sometimes they don't sew this tight enough and your wires will pull out I don't want that to happen I want them to stay where I put them. All right, so I'm bending the wires because, one, I need um, to be able to get to around the spine of the, the swag. As you can see, I still can't speak English. So these are a little bit thicker, so just takes a little bit of maneuvering so I kind of want his legs to go out just a little bit I don't want him to look like he's spread eagle but I want him to just be a little spread out and I'm just going to twist him maybe Hey everybody. All right, that one's on there. See how that moves? I don't want it to do that, so I'm gonna have to hit that with some glue here in a minute. 
<clears throat> just waiting for it to warm back up. Cut off the excess. And then we're going to fold this over. And lay it down. All right, let's see if this is warmed up any. Nope, oh, needs another minute. So while we're waiting on that, we'll do the same thing with this one. All right, got that down. So there's his legs. I'm going to hit those with a little bit of glue so that they don't slide off of there. Doesn't take much, just a little dab. Just a little dab will do you. There we go. All right. Um, we'll put his hands on last because we're going to put this mesh in now. So I'm going to take these rolls that I cut. They're 20 inches long. Hello. Hi, Juanita. All right, so I just cut these at 20 inches. This was just a little bit I had left over and I just happened to have enough to do 12 pieces. So we're going to ruffle them up and I'm going to take one of my um, greenery pieces and I'm going to tuck it in here and I'm going to fold that greenery piece over it. I'm not using two pieces to tie around it. I'm just using one piece and I'm wrapping it around and then pinch it closed. That's all I'm doing. And then it's going to stay right there. It's not going to go anywhere. So there's one. All right, so there it is with all of our mesh in there. So this was what I originally thought I was going to use. And let me show you what I mean by, guys, open things up and check them. I don't know why I did not do that. So I bought these cute snowflakes. Now look at them in the package. I thought they were kind of thick, right? Because they look that way in the package. Look at them. So, see? And it says on here, shatterproof. So I'm thinking, okay, well, they're, you know, they're plastic. No. Look at these, you guys. They're foam. It's a piece of foam. <laughs> they were regular $7.99 and then 50% off of that. So if I'd have paid more for them, I'd have been really mad. So one of the other things I had thought about doing was I have a bunch of these signs I bought one year. Um, at like an after season sale um, and I thought this would look really good on here too if he was holding this. The problem with this is one it's, it is kind of big and two it's really heavy. Um, so I, I don't think I'm going to use that. So the other thing I found was this and it's been a while since I've used any signs like these. I've been using a lot of wooden signs lately. But this sign came from Personally Yours. And if you know or have watched me at all, you know I love her signs. Um, most of my metal signs I get from her. So I found this one. And I thought this would be perfect because it's got the red border. And then it's got the chalkboard background or the black background on it. And it says Merry Christmas. So I thought that would be really cute for him to be holding in his hands. So he's going to be holding that. And I do believe I'm going to move his legs up. But I won't do that now. I'll do it later. And then I have some snowballs here, and I got these today, too. These are a little bit smaller than the ones I used on the other uh, snowman wreath. All right, so I do have some ribbons here, and after I put everything in, we're going to go ahead and put some of these on. Um, 
but I've got this snowman ribbon with the black and white check back, but the red snowman. And then I have this hound's tooth that's going to match um, his scarf and the, the ribbon in his hat. The sign, <clears throat> sorry, I'm lisping here. I don't know why. Um, the sign came from Personally Yours. Um, she has a website, plywreathsigns.com. I love her signs. I've been buying her signs since I started. Um, I consider her a friend, too. And I just love Lee's signs. All right, so let's do... Trying to decide if I want to put the sign in first or if I want to go ahead and put some ribbons in first. Let's do some ribbons. Why not, right? Thank you for sharing. I appreciate it. All right, so my husband cut me these scrap pieces of wood, and I have them all measured. They're um, cut at certain lengths so that I can, you know, measure them out. So I use those to cut my ribbons. Um, there are other things out there on the market you can get. Um, I know that Burlap Boutique has the ribbon boards. Hot Mesh Mom has ribbon boards. All right, I'm cutting 12 of these, and I, wa I didn't cut them ahead of time because I wasn't sure I was going to be using all, all these pieces, but now that I did, I can go ahead and cut these. So there's 12 of these. So again, I cut the ribbons at 12 inches. The ruffles are 20 inches. All of this is sitting on a 24 inch swag that I got from Carolina Pottery. All right, so I cut the hound's tooth and the snowman ribbon both at 12 inches. I'm just going to take and put these in. So we're just going to put them together. Hello, welcome. I will shoot you all those links tonight as soon as we get done here. It'll be within the hour after I get off of here. Alright, so I'm going to untwist this. Didn't think about that. i got to untwist them now. It's going to take even longer. Should have just left them. Welcome, everybody. All right, so I'm just going to twist them around this. Should have put them all together and done it. I'm going, why didn't I think of that? All right, so there we go. Let me get these ribbons spread out so you can see them. Let's see if I like this. I don't know, I may not like it. I don't know, that black kind of hides it. I might just use the snowman one. All right, we're going to put the sign. I'll, put, I'll figure these out in a minute. I don't like the way it looks with them in there. All right, let's get his hands. I'm going to do the same thing with his hands that I did with the feet. I'm going to hit a spot of glue on here and keep these wires from sliding in and out. Alright, we'll let that dry for a second. Let's get the sign ready. Alright, so for the sign, it's going to go a little bit of an angle. Alright, so this is one of the supplies that will be on that list that I send you. And the link to where you can buy it, and it's my beadsmith. Hey Lee, how are you? Look at what I got. Lee's the one that made this sign, guys. She's on here now. So I'm going to use this beadsmith, and this is on my supply list. And I'm going to punch a hole in the sign. And now usually when we do it on a wreath, we do it in the four corners. I'm just going to do it in the sides for this swag. I'm going to go right here in the center. back 
in there. <clears throat> yeah, check out Lee's site, guys, for her signs. I'm telling you, you're not, you won't be disappointed. She has some that are exclusives as well. That she's working with some um, artists, and they're gorgeous. So I just got a whole bunch of signs from her um, last week or the week before. Like I said, I hadn't been using a lot of signs lately. But when I do, they're usually her signs. Alright, so we got to get rid of that. Alright, I'm going to put these wires in. Again, I'm using my 26 gauge silver wire, floral wire. Putting that right in the hole. Bringing it around to the back and twisting it. Hey, Joy. Thank you. I appreciate that. I just think this sign's going to look really cute with this. Probably it'll be cuter than those snowflakes would have been. I have so many signs over there. I had to go through my stash and... Right, we'll put the hands on after I figure out where the sign's going to go because she's going to be, or he is going to be holding the sign. So I want the sign just a little crooked, and I'm going to go. I'm looking to see here. Get my little needles out. She does have awesome signs. I'm telling you guys. Check out her site. PLYWreathSigns.com Alright, so I'm just going to use my little needle here. And I'm going to take my wire and I'm going to get it as close to the spine of this frame as I can. And I'm going to pull it right through. And it pulls that through for me so I don't have to fight with it going through the mesh. Floral wire is a little thin, so you know you, you're going to fight with it. Alright, let me turn this one around. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Thank you, Susan, for putting that link in. I lost the other wire. There it is. I got it. I found it. There we go. Alright, so I got as close to the spine as I can. Now let's flip it over. And I'm just going to take both of those wires. And I'm going to twist them around each other. Alright, so there's the sign. So it's not going anywhere. Just got a lot of glitter on it right now. So there's that. Will this be cute hanging on the door? And once I hang it up, I probably will have to adjust some of it. You know, his hands and feet may not be in the right place or the right distance. Or, you know, his legs could be up a little higher or whatever, you know. I'm watching the feet. It just caught up. It does look cute, though. All right, so let's see. Thumbs up, right? Thumbs up. So I'm going to take this. And I want to give it a slight bend in the palm. So that it looks like he's holding it. Right there. No, I went too high. Oh, thank you, Brandon. My grandkids are so supportive and 
so encouraging to their grandma. There's that one. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these in, but I'm not going to do it until after I make sure everything's where I want it. Because that will help these to stay in even better. Alright, so let me turn it around here. And let's do his other mitten. And then we're going to put his snowballs on. Thank you. Isn't he cute? There. So see, I did. we did the table swag, we did a door swag, now we're doing like a fun, it's still a door swag, but it's a fun kind of swag. there and I might even hit a touch of glue in his palm just to keep him holding on to the sign so this wire wants to stick out in his palm and I don't want it to oh look at that it does look cute I'm trying to see if me yeah his legs I think need to come up don't you guys agree his legs need to be moved up a little bit yeah, I think they do. So I'll do that while he lost a hand. So, But like I said, I don't want to put that in permanent until I know where I want everything else to go. Alright, so here we go with this dilemma again about where the balls are going to go. Because the last time I made a snowman, I got in trouble. Not between the legs. See, you guys take all the fun out of it then. I know, children are watching. But I think I'm going to keep him up towards his head, though. Not under or between the legs. I know, guys. I know. Whoops. I'm losing them. Losing my marbles. See, anywhere down in here, I can't put them, so. So I'm going to move his legs up, but I'm not going to make you all sit here and watch me do that. <laughs> Definitely not between the legs. No, I decided not to do the ribbons. It just didn't look right. I put them in and they didn't look right. So the black, um, I might go back and add a few, or you know what I could do is maybe add a little, um, what Susan calls cheater bows. Um, I might try that, I don't know, but I just, um, I don't know. It didn't look right when I put them in there. So I might, um, I might go back and do it again, you know, check it again later. And his hands keep moving because I didn't secure them yet because I want to move his legs and that up first. <laughs> I love you guys too. So there we go. And like I said, I might go back and add some ribbon. I don't know. I might Maybe I'll look for a different color. Because that black just kind of blended in with everything. Maybe I just need to add some more red. All right, guys, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, I will post a picture of this after I move his legs and um, see what I'm going to do about the ribbon. Okay, guys, thank you again so much for joining us. If you're new, welcome. I will go back and send everybody the links that they asked for. And um, you all have a great night. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And um, be safe. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday.